Holy day at uh, Mighty Con Milwaukee, uh, the state fairground here. Um, got here about two hours ago. Uh, it drove all night to come here. Uh, I forgot to vlog uh, a lot of the stuff, you know, when I was preparing to come. Uh, my mind's just, it's still out of the, you know. I mean, not, my mind's still been like pretty preoccupied with other things going on, you know. Uh, but yeah, you know, um, I'm behind on making vlogs for uh, Metacon. And I'm probably gonna be behind on this one. I got, uh, I got some private work, uh, private work to do, and uh, I'm trying to get that done, you know, uh, before I can get back on uh, on, on my uh, on my DC project and uh, you know some new new print. Uh, but yeah, you know, um, when I got here today, everyone was like, like rushing to set up. It, it, it was crazy. I've never seen that on the on the opening day. You know, usually people set up uh, a good majority of the people you know set up the day before. But when I got here, like, like even right now, there's still people, the tables are empty, like, like on this side right now. And behind me, you can see my neighbor uh, still hasn't showed up. And we're open in like what, 40 minutes or something. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting uh, to see how this is gonna turn out. Uh, it's pretty packed though, as far as uh, vendors, you know. Uh, they haven't opened yet, but like, yeah, I think it just looked packed because the uh, the area is kind of it's kind of small, but. Uh, it's a good size. I think it's a good size, you know. Uh, doesn't need to be too big, you know, for this kind of show, especially for a one-day event. Uh, I think it's perfect size. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, never had a problem with the people uh, organizing this show, uh, you know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting it to be an okay show, you know. Uh, that's it. We'll see how it goes. I'm leaving. After, uh, the show ends at 4. I'm leaving uh, right after that. I'm going back home. Six-hour drive. Well, not six. Four. Uh, yeah, that's it. And then we'll see how it goes. Uh, try to I'll try to get more footage because uh, I got time right now. So I walk around. I got nothing going on. I'll say hi to my friends. So um, we're not quite open yet, but kind of walked around and uh, been looking at uh, what people have been doing, you know. Uh, and uh, this show is pretty disorganized, you know. Uh, it's the first time, you know. Uh, I know I talked to my friend Josh. Uh, he actually told me some bad news. He won't be, uh, he will not be working at a, uh, as a to help out. You know, so he won't be working for the convention anymore to help out. You know, so uh, it's gonna be uh, gonna be pretty sad. You know, but yeah, um, it's so disorganized. Like, like you see what's going on right now behind me. So basically, what they're doing is they're just taking a table from someone, and they just because they they. They didn't map everything, you know, uh, the tables right. So they just kind of like, hello there. So they just kind of like jacking tables left and right, you know, just to kind of kind of fill in. And it's kind of like messed up. It's, it's weird, you know. And um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it feels super disorganized. So they're gonna take those. Uh, they, they just took some chairs right now. And uh, still a lot of people not not set up. It's crazy. Both my neighbors on my left side and my right side, 
they're not even here. So it's like, what the hell's going on, you know? Uh, anyways, it's just weird. Um, uh, I heard some bad stuff, you know, about this show from my friend. Uh, about the, the new management. Uh, it's kind of sad, um, but I won't go too much into detail, you know. That's their stuff, you know. But uh, I just hope that uh, this show stays well, you know, uh, in the future uh, with new management. I wish them well. We'll see how it goes today. Uh, but yeah, I just want to put some, uh, some, you know, just want to let you guys know about that. Uh, I don't really think much of anything right now. Actually, um, I, I was going to mention something. I, I, I was talking to an artist uh, around here, uh, over there in the corner, and um, he had those very nice metallic, you know, plate, <clears throat> not like the hollows that I have. <clears throat> and um, so, you know, I was trying to talk, you know, and uh, trying to ask him, you know, where he got them, you know, and uh, kind of felt weird because uh, I could see that he was uncomfortable. Uh, he didn't want to tell me where he was getting them print, uh, printed at, you know. Uh, and to me, it's like whatever, you know. <clears throat> if you're a vendor and uh, you can, you know, you, you can share. To me, I can share. Like if I get a, a metallic shit, you know, uh, from somewhere and I'm very satisfied, dude, I share the, 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 the place with you, you know, like I don't care. It doesn't, it doesn't affect my sale or not, you know. It's not going to do anything. And uh, basically the vibe I got from him was... Uh, I don't know, he just didn't want to let me, he just didn't want to tell me, which is cool, you know, I didn't push, I was being cool, you know, I was being nice, and I uh, just, you know, just kind of walked away, but I could, t I could see, you know, that uh, he, he didn't want to tell me where he got it, and um, I've heard this a lot before, but a lot of, a lot of artists, you know, they, they don't want to share where they get the stuff, the supply sometimes, for fear of, like, you know, of business, you know, affecting them, uh, and to me, it's like, it's whatever, I've said it before on my blog, you know, it's like, if you can make a, uh, if people like your art, you know, uh, good, well enough, then they'll come and get it no matter what it is, you know. So it doesn't really matter, you know, where you get your stuff or uh, how, how it's going to affect you. It really doesn't, you know, it really doesn't. You know, I've seen some uh, people selling more, you know, regular print than metallic shit and make more money, you know. So it, it doesn't really matter. So keep in mind that if you guys do a convention like that, it's okay to share. Like, you know, I don't mind. I tell people all the time where I get my metallic shit at. Uh, where I get my supply at because it's not gonna affect my business you know if it works for them good if it doesn't eh, that's too bad you know I mean it just means that uh, they need to work on something else you know so yeah basically that's what I wanted to say anyway uh, I think they just opened I see customer walking around so see how it goes so we're uh, about like almost an hour in the show right now uh, and uh, both uh, my neighbor on my left side and the one behind me never showed up. So basically I asked your, your manager to see if I can use it if uh, they're not gonna show up. Because at this point, you know, it's, it's not gonna make any, they're not gonna make anything even if they show up. They're gonna take too long to set up. So it's gonna be a loss, you know. So, so he was like, whatever, yeah, just use it. So he told me to use the table on my left side and my other neighbor had a table, wanted to use it also, so I shared it with him. So, you know, if you don't show up, you know, then, you know, that's what happened, you know. Uh, people get to use it, you know, so, because why not, you know. Uh, you pay for the table, but you, you, uh, you're not here, then, you know, it's just what happened, you know. Um, other people can make good use out of it. It helps me uh, make my uh, setup better. So, yeah, you know, so that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, hopefully it helps out. There's a lot of people right now. Uh, mainly people looking at what I'm uh, looking around right now so we'll see you know, hopefully I'll make some sales soon let me show you guys let me show you guys the back of my display so it's like this I'm sitting down right here and I extend it to the left and I'm showing half of this table I put my cloth down and I'm showing half of this table now so I got one and a half table right now, which is big enough which is all I need right now to set up my uh, myself I could uh, extend my uh, my uh, back display also but it's okay no need so we got about two hours left right now. Uh, nothing has happened. It's been like a lot of people has been walking around. I get a lot of traffic. I'm in a good spot by the food court, but man, there hasn't been any sale. Uh, so I mean, I made a couple of sales, but it's so slow, you know. And I've been trying to stay awake because uh, I left my house last night to come here around 1 a.m. and uh, now it's kind of hard to stay awake right now. So. Yeah, uh, I'm just I'm holding on to, uh, you know, I'm trying to stay uh, awake, 
uh, see if I can uh, make it to the end. After the show, I might just stop somewhere, maybe at a uh, Planet Fitness, you know, just so that I can use my mem membership to go into uh, uh, the lounge and just kind of take a nap in there for a little bit. Uh, I was gonna try to go out and uh, eat with some friend or go see my cousins, but it's probably not gonna happen. I'm probably just gonna head out. Uh, just because the show has been so slow, so I'm just gonna head back straight, you know, and uh, not waste any time. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, I don't know what to say, man. I think I'm gonna stop doing uh, money counts for a while. You know? uh, it's been a lot of, uh, I mean, the past three, past two has been, uh, kind of been, has kind of been a, a, a letdown. So I'm gonna have to, uh, to hold off on those shows until I get more uh, comic art, you know. Uh, it is more a comic, uh, comic con, you know. Uh, so people are, like comic related stuff more. Uh, you see a couple anime uh, cosplayer, but uh, not so much, you know. Uh, so the sales are kind of slow right now. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of like a 50-50 with the mighty cons, you know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I might have to uh, to hold off on this. I got one more mighty con in the page. And uh, after that, I might just, you know, try to do all the shows around. Uh, if I really can, then I, I reserve another one. Uh, just to try my luck again, you know, but yeah. <coughs> so, it's almost 4 o'clock, but I just found out that we actually closed at 4.30, so we got about 40 minutes left. left and um, still haven't made any sale, man. Super slow. I'm uh, super tired. Like, I'm trying to, I've been trying to stay awake all day. So I'm really just gonna go find something to eat and and go. I was thinking packing out early, but you know I keep you know what I keep saying you know all the time at every show. You know you never know you might make a last minute sale. So I keep telling myself that. So that's the only reason why I haven't packed yet. And uh, yeah, I mean we'll see how it goes. I really hope I get some last minute good you know good deals. So that's about it. But other than that, man, the show is. Uh, I'm not gonna say I don't recommend it. I recommend it because you know it's, it's you never know. You know, like it's a lot of people. A lot of people are making uh, good sales. So try. You know, it's definitely a good location. It's at the, the uh, uh, Milwaukee uh, Fair ground, and uh, it's a good spot. I like it. So I definitely recommend it. Even though I didn't make good deal, uh, I mean, even though I didn't make a, it wasn't a good a good show for me. But uh, yeah, so. That's it, that's all I can say about this show. Enjoy. I'm just gonna pack up. Nothing else to record. I'll see you guys on uh, the next convention. Super simple, okay?